Hmm. Why are you so happy? It's that time of year again! Yeah! And just what time would that be? The holidays, of course! <gasps> I'm gonna have to run out and buy some stuff today! Do it! I'm doing it! Ah! Hey guys! All right, well, in all seriousness, the holiday season is upon us, woo! So we're gonna be covering five, whoops, sorry. We're gonna be covering five retailers. And that is going to be Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Shopko, whoops, Shopko, and GameStop. Now, any times that we do mention, um, times, are gonna be uh, Eastern time, uh, mainly for the online portion of things. And uh, we are also gonna be covering five categories. All right, those five categories are going to be smartphones, TVs, PCs, tech, and video games. I've gone ahead and compared all five retailers to see which deals are the best for you. So stick around and let's see what sweet deals await you. And I do have my handy dandy list on me because we are going to be going through a lot, a lot, a lot of deals. So let's start out with this here video games and let's see what, uh, what we find. Ooh. All right. So first we have the Spider-Man PlayStation 4 Slim 1 terabyte. Now this is retailing at $200 and it is going to be available at all retailers. Now the winners coming on top of this is gonna be, we have a Walmart and GameStop. GameStop has a $50 gift card that you're gonna be uh, getting with the purchase of that. And Walmart has it online from the 18th until the 26th, so that's really convenient, especially if you don't wanna leave the house, you don't wanna deal with all that. Great, 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 great stuff. So up next we have the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One controllers. If you've been looking for a second controller, everyone has great deals and prices on these. They have them going for uh, retailing for 40. Uh, regular price is 60, so definitely a good time to pick one up. Now, let's see here. I couldn't find any at ShopGo, so they may have some, but they may not, so just be aware of that. Up next, we have Xbox One X. Looks like this one is only being offered at Walmart, GameStop, Best Buy and Target. So basically everyone except uh, Shopko again there. It's the uh, same deal for uh, GameStop and uh, Walmart where Walmart is offering it through the 18 to the 26 online and GameStop is giving you a $50 gift card for that purchase. Looks like for an extra $30 Best Buy is offering a extra controller so I don't know. I mean it might be worth it to you if, if you're really looking for that extra controller and you want to save 10 bucks might be worth it. Food for thought. Next up we have the Xbox One, one terabyte Minecraft edition. This is retailing at 200 so not a bad buy. Not a bad buy at all. And da -da -da -da. I'm gonna, gonna lump a few of these because uh, you know we, we got a lot of the same things and a lot of the same stores. So besides the Xbox One Slim, we also have the uh, Mario Kart bundle. Uh, that is the Nintendo Switch. Uh, coming with a copy of the new Mario Kart for it, at, retailing at 300 We also have the Nintendo 2DS. It's going to be the Mario Maker Edition, coming with the Mario Maker game included at 80 Two exceptions to this. Uh, GameStop will still give you a $50 gift card for the Xbox One purchase, as well as the Switch purchase. And it looks like uh, Walmart is going to be doing the online shopping for the Switch, but they are going to be doing it as starting at 10 p.m. on the 21st. So uh, just uh, keep your eye out for that one there. For you retro fans of the arcade cabinets, uh, both Walmart and GameStop are offering the arcade. Uh, they're gonna be retailing $250 at both Walmart and GameStop. However, Walmart will have them available online. So definitely an extra convenience to you there. Then we have the, the PlayStation VR. Didn't see a lot of deals for this one. However, I did see one at a uh, Walmart and Target. Walmart coming in first place for this one since it's going to be retailing at $200 there. Target coming in second since they're going to be retailing at $250 there. So definitely if you've been keeping your eye out on one of those, you know, now's your chance to swoop one at a lower price. 
Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> now for you PC gamers out there, we have a few deals. There, there's, there's a few here and there. There's not as many as, you know, some of the consoles and the console gaming uh, ecosystem, but we have a few. So for all you PC gamers, we have the Razer Chroma Bundle being offered at Walmart. And also uh, Best Buy is offering the Corsair one. Now the Corsair one is coming with a headset included. Both of them are going for a hundred. Uh, so really depending on what you're looking for, maybe you got a new PC, maybe you just built one, whatever the case may be, you're gonna need peripherals, accessories. This is definitely a great way to get all those peripherals without having to spend so much money individually. So definitely take, check it out, check it out. Headset one would win for me just cause you get that added benefit. Some random extra goodies that are for the GameStop deals. They are having Pokemon cards at $2 a pack, which I mean, if you like collecting Pokemon cards, that is not a bad deal at all. As well as they are having Razor Fight Sticks going for $120, not a bad deal in there. So Pokemon cards, Fight Stick, 120 bucks. Hey, not a bad deal. Now all retailers are gonna be having deals on video games in general, whether it's for the Switch, the PlayStation 4, or the Xbox One. I didn't do them individually because they're all gonna be ranging anywhere from 10 upwards to 40. Uh, so just depending on the retailer that you prefer, you may find a slight difference in price, but generally you're gonna find the same games around the same price. Uh, some of the newer titles like Black Ops 4, they're not gonna be going for anything less than 45. Uh, but definitely keep your eye out on those, especially if you're getting a new system, why not have some new games along with it? All right, for our next category, we have bum, 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 PCs, which I don't think too many people ever cover, but uh, I do enjoy them. And if you're a content creator or you just like taking your gaming to the next elevation, next level, you've been looking at your friends with Steam and Blizzard and all that, and you're like, ah! So here are some of the PC deals that I found for you. Let's see what we got. Best Buy being the winner in this category, um, mainly because they're one of the only retailers that are offering a lot of the uh, PC deals. I know Walmart and Target had a few on some laptops, but if you're looking for something of quality, something that won't break on you and will last you a long time, I feel like this is one of the places that is offering those good laptops, those good computers, those good uh, tablets, you know, some of, the, some of the better deals on these devices. So let's check them out. We have the MacBook Air at $800, not a bad deal. We have the Acer Nitro coming in at $520. Great laptop, great price, great performance, I'm sure. Not the best, but definitely far from the worst. For all you entry-level gamers who are looking in for a tower, we have Cyber Power coming out with a $450 PC. That is a great deal. You're looking at console range price around there. Yes, a little bit upper towards X, but considering that you'll be able to upgrade the graphics card if need be, this is not a bad entry to the PC gaming space. And especially if you've been thinking about doing something like this, you know, maybe you wanna be a content creator, definitely a great stepping stone towards that goal. And then we have some accessories for some of the more hardcore PC enthusiasts. We have the G-Sync monitor coming in at $350. Now, if you guys have ever looked into G-Sync, you know that these are far and far in between to find a deal on these. So at $350 for some G-Sync at Quad HD by a reputable brand like Dell, that's not that bad of a deal. That's pretty good. They are also selling PC accessories at 50% off. Now, if you record gameplay or you edit videos, you know that storage is a must. Sometimes it feels like you can never have enough. The day we can have something above terabytes and at an affordable price, that'll be wonderful. Also, wireless, yeah, that wouldn't hurt. Anyways, uh, Western Digital, 10 terabytes clocking in at, at $180. Not a bad deal at all for that many bytes. That is definitely gonna help you free up some space in your PC and help you, you know, have a nice little backup going there. And one that we're gonna have to shout out to Walmart. They have a Netgear Nighthawk router going for a hundred dollars. Not bad. If you've been looking to speed up your Wi-Fi, get them fast blazing Ethernet speeds. This is not a bad deal at all. And of course, they are doing it online starting at 10 p.m. So bam, save you that hustle from having to go to that store and you're up and running on the speed, blazing that interweb. All right, on to the next one. 
we are on to televisions. Now with this one, it gets a little bit tricky because all of the retailers are offering their deals on televisions. However, if you take a notice and take a peek and you know really dive in, majority of these TVs, uh, they're not really necessarily that great. They're off brands. You know, you got your your Heinsons, your 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 Saris, and your uh, I'm not even too sure, but for the most part, they're all off brand, and usually you're looking at like a $250, $200 TV, but the regular price is already at $300 or uh, 250 so you're only saving like $50 on a TV that's not that great to begin with. A uh, perfect example would be something like this here. So for this one, the category winner is gonna have to be Best Buy. And now the reason they're winning, they have uh, quite the selection of reputable brand televisions from the likes of uh, Sharp uh, to LG to uh, Samsung. And for a lot of these TVs, you're looking at anywhere between a range of between $277 upwards to 800 I'll pop up a uh, yeah, Samsung right here that you can see so you know if you're spending you know that extra fifty dollars that you were planning on spending on a on a cheaper TV anyways why not spend that extra fifty get yourself something of high quality uh, especially with uh, something you may not know but with 4k televisions one of the key features that you're going to be wanting is going to be called uh, HDR now, a perfect example of the difference that it's gonna make in your image quality is gonna be going from something like this to something like this. So that's just a demonstration, but HDR is where it's at. If it doesn't say HDR, it only says 4K, you're gonna be slightly disappointed because uh, that difference, especially at a further viewing distance, you're not necessarily gonna see it the HDR, on the other hand, it's going to enhance all the colors, the visuals, the realism of it all. Definitely what you're looking for. So uh, Best Buy wins on this one. They have a great 43-inch Toshiba going for 130 One of the most solid deals there. 4K, HDR, Smart TV, all that good stuff. So, bam. Short, sweet. Like I said, uh, not too much crazy competition going on. And shaboom! On to the next one! Oh yeah, and now we got the tech devices. Oh yeah, things like the Google Home, mmm, and all that stuff, yeah. All right, we're gonna fly through this one, guys. First we have the uh, Google Home Hub. It's gonna be going for $100. Looks like all retailers will be offering this, with, with the exclusion of uh, Shopco. As well as for a lot of these, we're gonna exclude GameStop because obviously they're more in the game business, not the, the tech business, you know. A little, a little not really under but so we got that Google Home Hub going for a hundred dollars you can find it at all the other three mentioned retailers that being Best Buy Walmart and Target let's see moving on we have the Google Home Mini at $25 now this one you'll be able to find at any of the retailers I like using mine it's pretty great now the Google Chromecast surprisingly Shopco comes in the lead on this one with it going for $25. I have not seen any of the other competitors offer the Chromecast at a low price, but they may have it. I may have just missed it. Definitely not a bad deal. We got the Roku Ultra going for $50. If you're looking for a way to stream Ultra HD content at an affordable price, especially if you're getting that nice 4K TV, uh, this is not a bad route to take. You will find this one available at Walmart and Best Buy. Possibly Target and Shopco. I didn't see them in their ads, but again, I may have missed that. Then we have the Roku SE. Now this little guy is retailing for anywhere between $20 to $25 between all these retailers. Definitely not a bad deal. Uh, I personally have one for the uh, kitchen on one of the smaller TVs. So and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a small TV. It could be your main, main uh, streaming device for your living room. Uh, but you could use it, you know, anywhere you like. And at 20 bucks or 25, not a bad deal at all. However, we are going to be claiming Walmart as a winner for this one only because they are offering, let's see here, a $35 sling credit. Uh, sling being this. I don't use it, but hey, you might. And $35 for it, even more incentive to use it. And a free month of Showtime, so not a bad deal. Definitely uh, check that one out. Woo! We still got quite a bit to go on this tech list. Let's keep it going. Bump a dump a dump a dump a dump a dump a dump. 
We have the Fitbit Versa, which you could find at all of the retailers going for 150, not a bad deal, especially if you've been looking for a smartwatch or a Fitbit. Um, that came out wrong. A Fit watch? I don't know, you know what I mean. Something to keep your heart rate, track of your running, all that stuff, not a bad deal at all. But we have a few other offers uh, later down on this list here that uh, may compel you to go otherwise. The Fitbit Charge that is being sold at ShopGo is going for $120, so not a bad deal there. A Fitbit for $60 at Target, as well as a Samsung smartwatch going retailing for $800, so not a bad deal at all there. Uh, the $60 one, of course, being one of the entry models, but hey, can't go wrong with that. $60, can't beat that, it's pretty great. And then we have the Apple Watch. Um, there may have been other deals that I may have missed. However, this is the one I found at uh, Best Buy going for $200. So if you've been wanting an Apple Watch, and uh, being that it is, I believe, the third generation, that's really not bad. I mean, you're still getting that, that water resistance, you're getting all that good stuff, and it's really not, not an old device at all. So 200 bucks, or yes, 200 bucks. Not a bad deal. More tech stuff. All right, more tech stuff. Here we go. We have ShopGo, wireless headphones, $20, baboosh. We have Target, GoPro Hero, uh, level seven, going for $230, Whoopoosh! Now the iPad deal, not a bad deal at all. We have both uh, Walmart and Target offering at, at a $250 price point. That's not bad at all, especially considering it's one of the more current gens. But if you don't get your hands on one of those, Best Buy has their sale of an iPad going out. This one, uh, I'd feel a little if on just because I believe this one is an older model. Uh, also retailing for, for $250, but this one is an iPad mini 4th uh, gen. So, you know, eh, not the best, but not the worst. Especially if you're looking at an entry price point for an iPad, why not? And it's brand new, so come on. And to top off our tech deals and our media deals and a little bit of everything, we have the movies, which of course uh, all the retailers are going to have a great selection of movies at a fair price, whether it's DVDs, Blu-rays. Now here's one where Best Buy gets some bonus points. They're going to be offering sales on 4K Ultra HD movies, so they're going to go anywhere between $15, uh, up as low as uh, $10. And you know, if you're, fun fact, fun fact, if you're getting a Xbox One of any kind, whether it's the, the little white one or the uh, Xbox One X, they come with a built-in 4K DVD player. So you're gonna be able to enjoy those 4K movies. Or if you're planning on getting one of those consoles uh, or hoping for one in the holiday season, why not stock up on some movies? You'll be ready. Unless you don't have the 4K TV, which on the flip side, if you have a 4K TV, but you wanna watch 4K movies, then, there you go. Get yourself an Xbox One, 4K Blu-ray player, and a gaming system. What a sweet deal. All right, now we're gonna be moving on to the biggest and the baddest. Uh, we're gonna be going to the phone deals. Yay! All right, guys. So now for uh, phone deals, uh, this is going to be unfortunate for those of you who are part of the T-Mobile network. I only say that because uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure why, but it doesn't look like they're included in, a, in any of these deals really. Now we're going to list it from uh, first place to second place to third place on who is offering the best deals. Uh, and believe me, there are some good ones here. So uh, let, let me pull out my handy dandy homework sheet and let's go ahead and go through these deals so first place we have Walmart Walmart offering a $400 gift card for an iPhone 8 an iPhone 8 plus or an iPhone X not bad at all it looks like you can get a $300 gift card if you go for an iPhone XS, an iPhone XS Max, or an iPhone XR. Not a bad deal. Any of the Samsungs, so we're going from the S8, the S8 Plus, S9, S Plus, the uh, Note 9, all of them coming with a $300 Walmart gift card. So, bam, that is not a bad deal at all. Now we are moving on to number two. 
And for number two, of course, it is da -da 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 -dum, psh, Target. Looks like if you get a Google Pixel 3, they are offering a $200 gift card. Not a bad deal there, not a bad deal. Any of their Samsung devices, uh, the S9 or the S9 Plus, are gonna be getting a $300 Target gift card if you upgraded one of those models. Not a bad deal, not a bad deal. Lastly, we have the iPhone X with a $150 gift card. Not bad at all, not bad at all. For our third place, we have Best Buy. Pa 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 pa. First, they have Samsung that you can save $300 if you go with an S9, a Note 9, or an S9 Plus. And then we have, of course, the infamous, the great Pixel 3. Save $400. That's probably one of the best deals you can get there on a Pixel 3. Save yourself 400 bucks. Heck yeah, man. And lastly, we have the iPhone X where you are saving, bow, $200. Boop, 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 boop. Woo, that's a whole lot of cash. Woo, well guys, that is a great amount of deals. I hope you had a wonderful insight onto this year's Black Friday. Definitely go ahead and uh, check online for a lot of these retailers since not all of these deals are exclusive to in-store only. You know, if you can save the time, you can save the hassle, definitely jump on it, get on that computer, be a keyboard saver. Save yourself some time and some money. Let me know if this was helpful to you. Definitely uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, I wish you a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving with your friends and your family. Happy shopping out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Peace out.